with your burn side, what do you decide you're going to do? I'm sorry? Pursue the sniper. Yeah, how? Yeah, shell the town. Shell the city of Fredericksburg. Okay. Um, this is going to become very controversial. Uh, there are numerous photographs of the refugees from Fredericksburg fleeing south toward Richmond. Basically, the federal artillery is going to try and knock out the snipers. And in the process, they will pretty much level the town of Fredericksburg. Um, after the battle, when the Confederates are retreating back or going into the town of Fredericksburg and they see the destruction, somebody asks General Jackson, you know, sir, how can we avoid this? And Jackson's response is rather telling. He says, you kill them all. You kill them all. Okay. So the stage is set. Um, what Burnside wants to do is hit left, center, and right. And he wants the assault to begin at dawn on December 13th. What happens? Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Pruitt. Like, uh, the Confederates right and Franklin had an opportunity to really just wipe out the flank, but he doesn't send in all his forces. Yeah. Uh, basically, what is going to happen is there are seriatim attacks, similar to what we saw at Antietam, okay? Uh, the problem is going to be Lee's worried with Longstreet that maybe Sumner's going to break through, and Longstreet is basically, the old artillerist in him, is going to tell Lee, General, look to your right. That's where you're going to have problems. He said, if you give me enough ammunition, I will kill every man in the Army of the Potomac. A chicken cannot survive on that field. And that is no idle boast. Okay. It is while Lee is with Longstreet looking at this assault against the low stone wall of the sunken road, which is a, a great, it's virtually impregnable position that, that Lee's army has. It's, that will be the point where Lee makes the very famous quote, it is well that war is so terrible, else we would grow too fond of it. 